Hello students, I am Dr. Bhupin Chalpata from LSM Corporate PG College, Pithala. Today I will tell you about the recombinant DNA technology. Recombinant DNA technology plays an important role in biotechnology as well as the molecular cloning process. Under to this process, the recombinant DNA technology, this is a technique. By this technique, we will produce the clones. Now the question is, what are the clones? Clones are the identical copies of the organisms. In nature, some few organisms are following to such type of practice age, such as the bacteria and viruses. They produce the identical members through the process of asexual reproduction. Even the eukaryotic organisms, such as the protozoans, sponges and even fungus and hydra they are also producing the identical copies they through the process of asexual reproduction such type of natural practices ignites the brain of the scientist as a resultant this recombinant dna technology it comes as a resultant there are different types of the cloning number one molecular cloning or either DNA cloning or gene cloning, gene cloning in under gene cloning, the partial cloning and complete gene cloning, reproductive cloning, therapeutic cloning and embryo cloning. If you talk about this one, this is a this is the example of the molecular cloning. You will see here that this is a foreign DNA molecule and this is a plasmid. This is the extracted genomic DNA of this organisms. Now you will see here that this foreign DNA and plasmid are cut with the same restriction enzymes. Why we are using the same restriction enzyme? Because for producing the same stickage, same stickage, same stickage, because the same uh, restriction enzymes recognize the recognize to its specific sequences in this foreign DNA as well as the plasmids. So now this is a restriction site. This is the restriction site of this enzymes. So what will be happening? You will see here that. Uh, this is a restriction site occurs only in the plasmid and is located in the lactose Z gene and which is metabolizing the lactose. And here you will see in this plasmid a ampicycline resistance gene. That means this ampicycline resistance gene act as a marker for this for this plasmid. Whenever you uh, grow to this bacterial cells in the culture medium in the presence of ampicycline, rest of the bacteria will die only to this bacterial cell will survive which has this epicycline resistance gene so therefore it acts as a selectable marker you will see here that you will see here that this dna molecule produce some sticky ends through the process of ligation now this foreign dna molecules is ligated in this plasmid the again our job is to culture to this ligated molecules in the culture medium as a resultant what will be happening uh, few cells have the insert few plasmid have the inserted DNA molecule and few have not and here, here you will see here that in case of the this white colonies with this white colonies as the foreign DNA this in this white colonies of plasmid have foreign DNA but this blue colonies have no foreign DNA our job is uh, to pick up this white colonies for further process then we will see here this is an example of the reproductive cloning in this case of this reproductive cloning you will see here that this reproductive cloning here is a 2c one is is pin dorset here and second is the scottis from to this scottic c this is a cytoplasmic donor and this is a nucleus donor from to the, the memory cells of this one memory cells are cultured here and the nucleus is a now removed from to these cells and from to this cell this somatic cells the somatic cell the nucleus is removed as a resultant the nucleus of this memory cells is inserted to this enucleated cells to the direct pulse current pulse technique then now this cell this this cell becomes just like as a zygote and it undergoes to the mitotic divisions it produces the blastocyst now this blastocyst is it thus implanted into the uterus of the another sheep, uh, this this sheep which is a surrogate, 
ultimately it produces it only. This is the first example of the reproductive cloning. Then you will see here, this is a base concept, concept of reproductive cloning, therapeutic cloning. In case of the therapeutic cloning stage, these cells, these clones are cultured in the tissue culture medium. But this blastocyst is transplanted into the surrogate mothers in case of this reproductive cloning. Now we will come here. This is an example of this uh, therapeutic cloning, how the therapeutic cloning is working. You will see here that it is a diabetic patient. Under to the diabetic patient, the skin cells of the diabetic patients have removed. And now the nucleus is removed from to this skin cell. And the egg cell also become a human egg cell. The, now this human egg cell, the nucleus is removed. Now this egg cell become enucleated. The nucleus of this diabetic patient's skin cell is inserted to this nuclear, nu this egg cell. Now this egg cell undergoes to the mitotic divisions, then then become the blastocyst. Now this is stem cell because you stem cells are the those cells which has the capacity uh, to produce the uh, to produce any types of the cells. Now you will see here that if you transplant to this, if you wants to uh, transplant to this in the reproductive uh, in the uterus of this human female now ultimately what will be happening a baby is produced uh, through the clone of the diabetic patient but here you will see here is a cut mark because some animal ethics and other problems this is an example of reproductive cloning. but on the other hand in therapeutic cloning now you have to culture to these stem cells in a culture medium again you produce these these healthy pancreatic islet cells now again you you insert to these healthy pancreatic cells it till to the patient through the process of transplantation again what will be happening now these these healthy pancreatic islet cells is replaced to those burn out cells and then they produce a sufficient amount of the insulin for curing to this diabetic patients thank you